Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign as Kayla, going for Easter Green's achievements. All right, I've looked around the map a little bit. I think I found something we might be able to do. Uh, we're at peace, so we're allowed to set rivals. We're going to go ahead and rival Assam, who we haven't been at war with yet. And then we're going to wait until the next monthly tick. Hope that we don't lose that valid rivalry. And then we're going to declare war on him. He has no friends. Right now it shows that we have no CB. Declaring war is an inherently immoral act. This didn't take long, did it? 73? Negative 73, uh... Karma? Yeah, that's okay. Um, so we're gonna declare war on this guy. He's gonna lose his alliance here. And we're going to get our Humiliate Rival off for some Splendor gain. Now, I think I, I don't see it anywhere in the interface, but there's this little thought in the back of my head here. I think that our religion makes it so you don't pay Diplo points to release subjects. I was thinking about going for diplomatic ideas for unjustified demands, but then I remembered, I, th I think we get that for free anyway. I think even, it might even say you pay dip, but you don't pay dip or something like that. In fact, I'm probably going to want to go Google that real quick. This guy's no longer a valid rival, so he should be willing to give us access after he stops hating us so much. Um, Bengal will not give us access. Mong... Gaung would, this guy will not. So we gotta wait and see if we can actually get through here at some point. Let's go ahead and turn off this automatically raise maintenance during war thing, because it doesn't actually usually help me. And in the meantime, we will improve relations here. And yeah, I'm gonna check real quick on the wiki. Uh, religion. State religion. The Ravada. What's the actual name of the religion, like, category? Like, all Buddhist branches. So we're of the Buddhist type. Buddhist. Buddhist. They're considered Eastern religion. Alright, the wiki here says... Oh, hey, webcam's on. Oops. The religion says, or blah, 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 the Buddhist religions have a karma slider, positive karma is mostly gained by blah, 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 which uniquely never cost triple points for Buddhist countries and honoring military alliances. All right, so yeah, it is, it is that way. Interesting. Well, let's check and see in the next peace deal if it actually says it'll cost triple points or not. We might not actually be able to get to him, but I'm hoping one of my subjects will be able to get access for us. We have access through Orissa. We do not have access through Koch. Koch should give us access if we improve relations with him. So if Orissa occupies something, we can maybe sneak through that way. And we get up this way and go around. Oh, never mind. Now we have access this way. See? Why do we have access? Kachar gives access to Kale, enemy Assam. Kachar. So Assam asked for it, and therefore they gave it to us. Good. All right, let's just stack up this guy. Thank you for uh, allowing me to murder you. It's nice of you. Absent merchant, mercantilism, yes. Can't make a mem I can't make my mind up. We can't actually we can't actually arrive where I want to go until next month anyway. So let's just move over. So our goal with this war is money, war reps, humiliate. We are not going to take any land here. Koch, Bengal. Koch got full annexed by Bengal. Cool. Let's go back to improving relations with whichever subject it was that we weren't improving with. Get our loot tick. We'll go to here. Alright, our overlord, Ava, we've got 51 trust with. I think we say we're tired of doing this, and we're no longer a subject underneath you, sir. Tributary relationship needs to break, please. We're losing innovativeness now because we are no longer ahead of time. Um, no one has tech, but you can't be innovative. 
You don't have head of time bonus. You can actually pay off one of the loans, but we're just going to turn right around and take another loan. Let's do, um... Slightly, just slightly lower maintenance. The tributary relationship did not break despite trust being below 40. Maybe the maybe the threshold's 30, actually. I can't remember now. Yeah, I think it's. I don't know. I've forgotten. Oh wow. 141 day siege. Bengal seeds a ton of land to Orissa. Wow. Orissa, you are bold, dude. 97 aggressive expansion with John Purr. I mean, he's like the only one, but still. Bengal just got ripped to shreds. Let's come back from Kachar, because we don't care about him, actually. Let's do our peace deal here, so... Let's see. Uh, there's no releasable nations, but... We need money. We want to humiliate... Oh, monarch points. Interesting. 100 of each monarch point to make up for how bad our, our ruler is, or do we want humiliate for... Splendor. Probably want the Humiliate. I want to get that Splendor growth up. And we also need the economy. So, War Reps, Money, Humiliate. Um, maybe make you give up claims for Prestige as well. Now, ideally, we would like for him to stop being a valid rival again. Soon. Meng Yang is possibly not going to be a valid rival. While we're still this tributary under Ava, we might want to take advantage of the fact that it didn't break yet and get this war declared. Two of our, our allies would come in and then we could break the alliance with them afterward. How's the tech situation look like? Meng Yang's on three, and he's allied to these two. He's on three and three. Senwi's on three. So we're the only one on tech four with both subjects on tech 4. Yeah, I think we could win this war. There is a level 1, no, level 3 fort there. That guy's got level 1 and level 1. Our allies have level 1 and 1. So, that fort's going to be kind of a bear to siege down, but I think we can do it. Okay, we're at 6 out of 4 relations. The alliance with Jumper is actually kind of tenuous there at only 46 opinion. I don't want to miss out on those, that trust, so let's secure this a bit by improving for a while. We'll do the royal marriage later. Um, because if you look right here, Kale's improving relations by 2.6. The closer we are to 50, the more improved relations per month we get. We're rounding this up to 3. If I do the royal marriage first, then, inter then improve relations, we only get 2 per month. And eventually goes down all the way to uh, just one one opinion per month, which is very, very slow. Much rather have three per month, please. All that work for the innovativeness, and it's just going to bleed away. No. All right. If I could support more troops. What if we fire the military advisor and then field another, like, five infantry, just to keep our subjects in line, then we can release Chittagong. Like, this Miltech advisor, he's probably not going to actually get me to Tech 5 that much sooner. I think we'll fire him. I don't want to take loans to hire troops, because the loans are so small, but... Sirhind has just declared their independence war on Delhi. Wow, it took him a long time. Almost 10 years. We can start integrating already. 1460 in one case. Oda declared a war. And 1460 for him as well. That's coming up fairly soon. Seven years. Ming's trying to force another tributary. Alright, even at full maintenance, I think we're making a tiny bit of money. Let's see. Monastic orders are in control here. That's alright. I think this war, we declare, we try to make some money. 
Is there anyone else we could attack? Subject has claims on no one. You have a claim on Silhet. There's a truce there. If we release Chittagong, we could attack Arakan. Arakan makes us fight Tangu and Orisa. Orisa just won a war, but he might not want to defend him because of his war exhaustion. Orisa would defend by 40 reasons. Okay. So that option is gone, I think. So it's really, it's just, it's just Meng Yang. It's really the only option that I'm seeing. We'll give it five months, six months, get our war exhaustion down to zero. Or the subject's war, war exhaustion. 1.27 for him. And 0 0.95, 0 0.94 for him. Alright, let's give him about 10 months then to recuperate. Eventually, we're probably going to have to consider trying to develop the Renaissance. I don't see how we can possibly conquer as much land as we need to without having the institutions embraced. I know we only have like 160 years to do the achievement, but still, I, I just don't see how it's possible to conquer and beat Ming and beat everyone else if we, we have the institution embracement penalty. Alright, Ava. I think I still want to attack Mong Yang. Fine. Take your monies. Okay, we're pretty good on war exhaustion. The subjects still have a little bit. Probably not enough to really care about. We'll go one more month, at least. We're at full maintenance. Let's declare this war and call everyone in. Promise them all territory. I'm not actually going to take anything. Um, probably. It's inherently immoral. That's alright. Alright, subjects attached to me, come join me in this location here. We're just gonna sit on this, get the ticking war score, Trisha be damned. Mong Kaung has attached to us, he's also providing us with a siege leader. The attrition's gonna get pretty damn high if the supply limit stays here. Let's actually say, like for now, don't attach to me and instead be aggressive and see if we can get this, this guy to like leave. Or we just suffer 4% attrition on the whole army for funsies. That's cool. That's Mong Mao heading into Minsin on the 16th. He's already locked. Minsin's mountains. If we could have caught him in Mong Kaung, that would have been a mountain defense, which would have been nice. Definitely make that into a state. Kachar, we want a full core. And then we want to probably give that to the nobles. But that puts them too influential. We give that to this guy. That puts them at 90%. Nah, let's just not. I do think I'm gonna have to raise autonomy here, just do the, uh, the penalties. As soon as the country's a little bit bigger, we can try to, to give it to some people. Alright, so where in the heck are you guys going? I mean, really. Where are you guys really going? There's Meng Nai. He's leaving on the 28th. Mong Yang is going to be heading into Mong Kaung on the 10th. All right, so that's like who we want to pick off. Let's let's wait until the first. Let's tell everyone to be supportive again, see if we can get them to come join us. That army's there on the 8th, that army's there on the 10th. I don't want to fight all of them. One's gone on the 23rd, one's gone on the 19th. We can come in on the 21st. And engage half the stack in defensive terrain. And he won't be here now until the 29th. So for eight days, we get to pick away at Nagao, Naganu Mobme's army. This guy's decided to betray the battle and just leave. So that fight should really well resolve one of the participants. You're heading into there. We'll head to here now. Don't attach to me anymore. Go away. I have this key bound to the F key, by the way. We're going for the war goal. That is a defensive fort that we can relieve. We can consider going there. Assuming we can march through here and avoid that army. Since that's defensive train, we don't want to fight that. This guy did catch up on tech. And this guy is on tech 3-3. Three, three. So one of them caught up on tech. The other one has not. Looks like they are both heading into that location now. Mong Kaung is doing things. This guy's going to Pagan. We can't just march straight... From here to Pagan? 
Weird. They're like a... Ah, it's a zone of control. Okay. Thirteenth and fifteenth. I'm looking to maybe pick off the, the war leader's army here in Manipur if this army's gone. Okay, 28th, 26th. We pick this guy off in not quite as defensive, but still defensive terrain. We have tech advantage over that guy, so if the reinforcements do arrive in time, uh, it's still a lot of men. Nice rolls, by the way, defender, but... You might want to retreat from this. There's just too many of them. Let's see what the next roll is. A 9 versus a 7. An 8 versus a 3. Alright, we'll keep it going. The rolls keep going well. Man, is he rolling out of the park today. Those are some really good rolls. I did not expect that. And we got a stack wipe on the war leader. Meng Yang is dead. Alright, cool. That's pretty much that war resolved then. These guys, we're going to separate piece for money. Hopefully our participation's high. Yes, so we're going to get a lot of the cash. This guy's got no one to release. I, I would like to try to get our karma back to the middle, just for the extra diplo rep and discipline, but... If it's not possible, then it's not possible. We're going to actually go for this siege over here. That way... Mong Kaung doesn't actually get any participation because he doesn't have enough troops to do the siege on his own. And uh, we'll get participation over here. Actually, you know what? We're so low on manpower, I think I might just... not... not worry about that just yet. There are still 10,000 troops out there. They just had to shatter pretty far. That is one of them. Now that the nobles have lost granted generalship, we could, instead of hiring another general, I could just grant them this province with the grain and get them back to loyal. I think I'll do that for now. Mong Kaung does have enough to get um, participation by sieging this guy out separately. He does have his own siege pip, which is good. And this guy's got his own siege pip, which is also really good. Bunch of stuff going on with Japan. We're already at war with, I think, like, the only person I actually want to fight inside this guy's little hug fest. Aside from maybe also attacking our current ally. But by the time we do that, I think we'll be alright, so... Let's continue to refuse, then. He can't, he can't jump in and defend this guy now, almost sure. The war's already been going on for too long, and we have too much war score. We have too many men here. Stick with a 10 stack. Are our subjects providing leaders? Tripuro's got a inspiring leader. And we're providing the hardy warrior. We need the C hey, two siege pips from Manipur. Nice. Good job, little man. This is one of the reasons that I love having subjects. Lots of extra generals to, to choose from. Alright, our participation's at 54%. Probably... Probably going to end up going down a little bit, possibly, while they're doing these two sieges, but then after after those sieges complete, this one will take longer, and I think we're the only one that has enough troops to actually gain participation on it. So every single day that goes by, we're going to end up gaining more and more participation, which means we get more and more of the money when we do the actual peace deals, which will be nice, because we're kind of broke. Nice water shortage. 28% on Mong Nai. There's a truce with our two subjects. Gotta make sure we keep them loyal now. I mean, kind of wanted them to be loyal in the first place, but yeah. Nice water shortage. 
Okay, this guy, I think we peace out. He's got no releasable nations. We want as much money as we can get, plus war reps. Um, plus as much prestige as we can get, and rivalry. You know what? Actually, the money kind of matters more to me than the prestige. Okay, we don't have any loans. We're officially debt-free. We can train more infantry to keep our subjects loyal. Uh, the Bengali separatists in Chittagong and in Kachar are causing issues. With the conversion active, we've got a lot of unrest here. Conversion's going at 2.7% per month. There's going to be a rebellion. Nothing I can really do to stop it. We'll have to fight the army. So we'll just kind of build a bunch of infantry now to bloat our force limit. And make ourselves look imposing and then kind of keep going from there. We just won the Siege of Meng Yang. Alright, we're so close. Let's see if we can wrap up this war, this episode. We're suffering attrition because I foolishly told them all to attach, attach to me. Excellent. Good timing on that. So, with you, again, no, no releasable nations. We want money. We want war reps. We want annulled rivalries, if possible. And then we'll just scale back the money a little bit. An old Rivalries gives the most prestige. Now with this guy, he wants that, he wants that. I don't care about their trust with these, these two allies, right? Um, if we take anything that gives negative 20 trust, then we lose the trust with like, we can't promise territory to Jean Pur anymore, and I don't want to miss out on that opportunity. So I think I might just give them both lands then we take one, we release this guy eventually as a subject, and reconquest his two cores. So why don't we give this to Senwi. We give Mong Yang Katha. Mong Kang, rather. Here the offer. I want these three. We, we split them up. Take the money. And then we probably sit on this province. That is also part of our, our home state, so... The... Monastic orders would be best if they had this, because we need the money. It's only one base tax, though. Is it the right religion? It already is. Good. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till the next episode to think about this. Let me think about it between episodes. I'll be back in the next one. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign, and I'll see you next time. See you soon.